Nintendo fucking suck. I mean, basically, we can all come to the conclusion now that they're basically a dying dinosaur of the gaming industry. One step forward, two steps back, that seems to be Nintendo's thing these days. Nintendo recently announced the 2DS, which I personally think is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard come out of the gaming industry in fucking yonkers. Let's get a fact straight before we go over many things. The 2DS is a, a cheaper 3DS without 2D that you can't shut. So basically what you're paying for is a 3DS like this with the 3D button on the side of it all the way to off and then you can't close it. So it's basically that off and that taped tape open. I saw Boogie998 or whatever his name, I can't remember his actual numbers, but Boogie did a video where he basically, he, he taped it up and that is his back, exactly what the fucking thing is. It's stupid. I mean, each to their own, Nintendo has said that this is basically for younger kids who can't handle or, you know, it's not good for them to watch 3D and blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, just buy him a 3DS and turn the 3D off. Oh, what, what, what the, oh, fuck, I don't know. This whole 2DS thing is just fucking stupid. Not to mention it's like one of the ugliest fucking things I've seen in ages. That thing is fucking ugly. Moving on, Nintendo's Reggie, I can't say his last name, but Reggie. Everyone knows Reggie from Nintendo. He was asked what he thought about the upcoming Xbox One and PS4, and I'm going to quote exactly what he said here. Quote. It's all about the games. The competitive systems have announced their launch lineups, and I'm allowed to say, meh. I look at our lineup of titles and I feel good about our lineup. We've got Zelda, we've got Mario, we've got Donkey Kong. All fucking sequels that are basically the same shit over and over. Now, I'm not going to be one to go on, but, uh,. I know they're good games, most of them, they all come out, they're good fucking games, they're fine, everyone enjoys it, but eventually, I mean, Galaxy was good, Mario Galaxy, it was the Mario formula, but did enough new that was interesting, but eventually, come on guys, come on, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Mario, ring the same fucking bell for how many years? Continuing. In addition to great titles like Pikmin 3, another fucking sequel, and Wonderful 101, I feel very good about her lineup. So basically everything that Nintendo has is either a sequel to one of their long, run, long running franchises or one of the shorter running franchises like Pikmin 3 and Wonderful 101 which is made by Platinum Games, the same people who made Bayonetta and shit, which is another thing I'm pissed off about. How the fuck did Nintendo get the Bayonetta 2 exclusive thing? I remember ages ago reading about that and it was like, oh, uh, it didn't sell, Bayonetta 1 didn't sell enough copies on Xbox and PS3, so we're going to move it to the Wii where it's a family console. So we're going to go from two consoles, which that has mature audiences, and bring it over to the Wii, which is mainly a family generated console. We can all say that's basically a family generated console. Move from two consoles, one console, doesn't sell enough copies. Fuck. Anyway, he's saying that the PS4 and Xbox doesn't have any great titles in their launch lineup, so let's just list off a couple. PS4 has some of these. Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, Black Rope Retribution, COD Ghost, DCUO, Drive Club, Killzone, Shadowfall, Knack, Minecraft, Need for Speed Rivals, Warframe, War Thunder, Watch Dogs, Infamous Second Son, Octodad, Dagdalus Catch, Old World, New and <laughs> Planet Side 2, The Crew, The Order, The Witness, and Wolfenstein New Order. Just a couple. Sony has also reported that over 180, 180 games are currently in development for the PS4. <laughs> Let's look at Xbox. Not going to say the same multi-platform titles like Assassin's Creed and stuff again, but Xbox has Dead Rising 3, Forza, fucking 5, Kill Instinct, Locust Circle, Rise, Son of Rome, Project Sparkle, Titanfall. Titanfall, have you heard of that one? Titanfall. Everyone's raving about it. Innovating in the multiplayer online type thing. No, innovation. Never fucking heard of it. There's also six games in amongst everything that I just listed that are free to play. That's right, free to play, free to play, F2P, you can play for free. Of course, there's microtransactions, we all know this, but this is an argument about the free to play model. Just saying there are six games free to play. The point is next gen, next the next generation of gaming, okay, the next generation of gaming. 
it's okay. I know sequels and franchises need to continue. It's okay. Everyone knows that there's obviously going to be more Zelda and Mario games and stuff like this. The point I'm making is that not that these games will be bad, but when Nintendo gets asked about why they're not scared about their lineup of games, they fall back onto the same horse. They can't say, oh, we've got this new, exciting game coming out, cold. No. Sony can be like, oh, we've got this new, exciting IP coming out called The Order, 19, whatever, the 87, whatever the fuck it is. Anyway, that's a new IP. Intellectual property. Whole new game. Ah, next gen. <laughs> Xbox over there with Titanfall. Never bought an Xbox. If I was to ever buy a fucking Xbox, Titanfall is quite a good swinging point. That game looks fucking amazing. And then, on the sequel part, Sony has sequels like Infamous Second Son, which is... Yeah, sure, it's the third game in the franchise, but... Have you looked at that game? Does it look like Infamous 1 or 2? Okay, kind of. It's got the elements of Infamous, but it's doing enough new shit to be considered next generation. Dead Rising 3's over there. Million zombies on screen at once. Can't make up its mind at the moment if it's a comedy or a full-on horror game, but it's doing new shit. All I'm saying, Nintendo, is can you please get your head out of Miyamoto's ass or stick it so far further up Miyamoto's ass he shits out something new and exciting that isn't Zelda waving a wand or Zelda that can fucking press against walls. Big Zelda fan, but I mean... You know what I'm saying? Because you're looking more and more and more every day like an extinct dinosaur to me. Please. Sign Dylan. Elman. Because it's the only good place in the fucking room you get lighting.